All right, so we made a little more progress here. Getting some of the insulation, the bats up, nailing boards on. So, working on this back wall here now. Just trying to get this uh, pink foam in. And just stuff it down into, right into there. Get that uh, nice and sealed up with the, the pink foam on there. After we get the pink foam in, get all our electric boxes ran, stubbed out, and then run this uh, insulation bats here. Nice big wide bats. They span the gap pretty nice. And then we go back and put on these boards to nail our drywall on. And then uh, we get the drywall up. Uh, you probably notice at the bottom there, there's a gap. We're gonna put uh, two by 12s. We got these pressure treated two by 12s. We're gonna stand on end all the way along. But what we did was, my barn isn't pitched right. The water, when you your ice melts off, goes all over the place, right to the walls. So I didn't want it wicking up the insulation. So what we ended up doing is cutting some pressure treated two by fours and taking some uh, sheetrock and putting it on top and ripped it five and a half inches. Took the sheetrock here and ripped it down five and a half inches and just rested it on top of those two by fours that are cut in there so that um, it'll keep the insulation from going all the way to the floor and if any water gets under there hopefully it won't wick up wick up the insulation that's the that's the theory behind it we'll see how it ends up working in real life in all due time so we got uh, this is the you know these big bats of insulation they turned out pretty good I ran out of electrical boxes apparently plastics hard to come by there's a shortage of Electrical boxes right now. Home Depot's out of them. Local hardware's out of them. So, we gotta wait and try to get another electric box. And we gotta nail, I'll put another another nailer here for the drywall on in the middle. But it lines right up with these switch boxes. So, we gotta move those first. That's kind of the, the game plan. These uh, These electric boxes here that they have this adjustable depth really nice you just screw that and it'll bring the box right out so it'll be nice and flush with the, the surface of the drywall which uh, you know is, is rather far out when you have the two by four nailers there uh, I'll give you an idea here what one looks like after the fact nice and uh, nice and flush not a very good job cutting there but hey what are we gonna do here's a better example I guess Nice and flush, so they work much better as where this was one of the old style boxes that you nail. You can see it's kind of recessed in there. We'll have to put spacers in there. It's not, uh, not as ideal. That's all for now. Plugging along. Get it all uh, insulated here and go get some metal for the ceiling next week.